So, now see a second method of the charging of the body that is charging by induction. See here in charging by induction a charged body A imparts to another body B some charge of opposite sign without any actual contact between the body A and B. So, now see here how is the body charged by induction. Suppose you have taken there are two spheres identical spheres like this. These two identical spheres A and B are taken here. In this case, I have taken here suppose there is a glass rod positively charged. These two spheres are identical at placed on the insulated stand. There is no flow of the charges this side, they are metallic spheres. When you bring this positively charged rod, negatively charged, a negative charge induces to this side and po positive charge are induced to opposite sides here. But not necessary all the negative of this are coming to here. So, the negative charges come here until equilibrium is achieved. So, the negative charges comes to the near to the positive rod and the positive charges are going away from the positive rod. Now, this is the first step. In the second step, so these charges are induced here. We can say here when we bring positive charges, negative charges are induced to the near end and positive charges are induced to the farther end. Now, in the second step, what we do here, we in the same thing is here these spheres are slightly separated A and B and this remains here positive rod over here only. So, negative are bound to due to force of attraction here and positives are here only. Now, what happen in the next step? In the next step when this sphere these spheres are widely separated suppose they are separated at far distances here and this rod is removed. When they are separated to the far distances, you will see here A and B, this has got all negative are distributed on this and positive comes on this body here. So, what happened here in this case? In the second step I have placed here, they have separated slightly. In the next step, this rod is removed and they are separated widely here. So, you will see all the negatives are distributed on this sphere A, metallic sphere A and all the positive are redistributed on the metallic sphere B. Now, this sphere A is 100 percent here, it is having only excess of electrons. So, this is called negatively charged and the body B is called positively charged. This is the way of the charging by induction. Now, let us take another example of the charging by induction where the body is positively charged. Suppose you have got a metallic sphere like this here and this is placed on insulated stand and here we bring a rod here that, that is suppose a ebonite rod which is negatively charged. What happened here? You will be getting here positive charges are induced to the nearer end and negative charges are induced to the farther end until the equilibrium is achieved. Now, in the next step what happens here? This sphere is again here I am taking the same sphere making the another diagram and this remain here only negative. This portion is grounded, it is connected to the earth. So, this portion is grounded, when it is grounded all the negative charges of this side they flow to the ground. So, you will be getting only this sphere having only positive charges which are suppose here bound with this ebonite rod negative charges because of the force of attraction. Now, remove this rod from here, you will be getting these positive charges are redistributed on the surface of the body. So, this body is now positively charged. So, this is the another example of the charging of the body by induction.